Hello everyone and welcome to a slightly different video. Um, it's to do with Grand Theft Auto 5. So I got Grand Theft Auto 5 yesterday and I started playing it today because it, take, it takes ages to download. But after I downloaded it, I ran it on sort of the recommended settings on the NVIDIA experience, and it was lagging quite a lot. Not on frame rate, my frame rate was on about 60 FPS, and everything was almost on either high or ultra. Um, however, I was getting an awful lot of lag. I, I sort of searched into this problem, and then I kind of figured out that actually it was because I had a 2 gigabyte graphics card or processor even not graphics card um, I have an Intel Pentium something or other anyway uh, the links uh, the links the um, my PC specs will be in the description and I wanted to play Grand Theft Auto 5 smoothly without any sort of f sort of frame drops because it's not nothing to do with frame rates because my frame rate is constantly very high but for whatever reason, I was just getting these loads of uh, frame drops. Anyway, I did a little bit of tweaking, and I went onto my NVIDIA inspector, and I changed some of the settings on my Grand Theft Auto 5 tab. So you can just take a look what I changed. So I uh, put triple buffering on, uh, ver vertical sync on, um uh, Anti-aliasing, uh, times eight super sampling, uh, override any application setting for anti-aliasing mode. I change that. I put the um, texture filtering on performance. It was on quality, and that I think is about it. So yeah, that's it for that. Um, so yeah, fairly basic. Uh, I'll just go through it again. Or scroll through it again so you guys can copy it. I'm sure if you want you can pause it. So that's what I did. And then I launched Grand Theft Auto. Which I'm going to do now. And I noticed a drastic improvement in my performance. Uh, but there are quite a few things I changed in game as well. And sort of for the better really. Um, so yeah, it'll take a little while to load. I have got have got it on an SSD, so it's not too bad. Okay, so here we are in game. I'm currently running at 60 FPS, uh, 50 now. But yeah, I'm currently running at 50 FPS, and that's pretty constant throughout the whole of uh, of of, of um, sort of gameplay, really. Um, if I go to my settings, I did change quite a few things in this. So. You can see uh, I've got it in the green here, 1,500 meg out of 2,000, which is fine. Uh, I'm using, uh, this is the main difference here, full screen. Now if I was to turn this up to full, which I can do like so, you'll see that it then goes red. Now I'm just going to put it back to how it was. Um, so yeah, that's how I have it and that really does help with uh, the frame rate. Um, yeah, that helps a lot with the frame rate or the stuttering I found. Um, you can see all the other things uh, I've got. Uh, I have it on full screen because if you don't have it on full screen on a 1080p monitor, it looks like a, a really small screen, which is really annoying. I've got uh, FXAA on. MSAA found absolutely no difference whether it was on times 8 or whether it was off, so I made no difference of that. Vertical sync you want on half. I did actually have it on on. You want that on half. Um, I've got all this on full. The population density, variety, and scaling on full. Texture quality I have on normal. If you have it on very high, it absolutely destroys your CPU. It adds an extra 1,000 megabytes. Um, so you keep that on normal. And if I'm honest with all the other things I have turned up, it makes not a huge amount of difference when it's either on very high or ultra you know that's uh, it's pretty good so um, I've got soft shadows on sharp post FX on high if you, you can change that to uh, normal and it doesn't it doesn't affect the um, affect this like little yellow tab that much I'm not sure what it is actually I'm not really sure what it does um, 
antistropic filtering I have on time 16. Um, but there's another word for this, or you may get confused with uh, something else filtering, and it's not the same thing. That makes almost no performance impact, and it makes no difference to your memory either. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I have all my settings on. It's working pretty well for me. So if I just say that, hasn't went. Uh, so if we get into a car now, and I can show you what it looks like now. If you have a dual, uh, a dual processor, you'll know what I mix or what I have been experiencing with the horrific. Well, now I just need to turn off the music, otherwise you get copyright strikes and stuff. You'll know what I was experiencing, the incredible lag. Um, let me just turn up to 1080p and let me show you guys quickly uh, what that looks like. Uh, in fact, I don't think I have tried it on 1080 Oh, also on advanced graphics, I've got this all right turned up. Um, advanced graphics um, can completely kill your um, your like computer. Um, if you haven't got a good enough one, so just be careful there, guys. So if you've got, if you're getting some bad performance, just turn some of these off, and you'll soon get very good performance. Uh, so let's turn this on to 1080. Hopefully, my game doesn't completely retard out. Uh. You know something that's actually okay on 1080p. Uh, one good way, another thing with two a uh, two megabyte graphics card is uh, if you drive quickly. Um, yeah, textures and stuff don't load, and well for me now they are loading. So maybe it's something I changed in my Nvidia inspector. I'm not entirely sure. I actually got this off the guide for off online so yeah you can see a little bit of frame rate drop so um, what we're going to do is oh, shut the fuck off simulay minule or whatever your fucking name is uh, we are going to put it to a slightly strange resolution let's try I don't know this so very strange resolution still makes the game look very nice and in fact no Okay, I just put it back to what it was, 720p. Um, also, it was slightly higher than that, wasn't it? It was like, was it? What was it? It was that, I think. So yeah, that is how I have got my Grand Theft Auto running as well as it does. Um, I haven't. It means you can really boot up your settings and stuff, and you can make it look really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that's how I've made it look how it does. Um, with no sort of frame rate stuttering or anything. Let's just kill some bloke. No way! Hey, look, I'm tired of Fuck you! Bastard. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.